So here's the story. Um, I get stranded in a parking lot about a mile from my home um, at an auto parts store because my key fob stopped working. I bought a new battery for the key fob and it also stopped working. So I walked home, or it also wouldn't work. So I walked home and I put together a 12 volt battery pack and powered the key fob and it worked once, which was enough to get me in the truck and then it stopped working uh, ever again. So to get out of the parking lot of O'Reilly Auto Parts um, and get home, I decided it was time to rip out my piece of shit car alarm. The car alarm, and there are pieces of it all over, made by Code Alarm. So the first thing I did was open the, open the um, door and the alarm went off and I went under the hood and disconnected the, the battery. Then I looked at the side of the alarm and it says here uh, white red starter key and white starter motor and my wild ass guess was if you connect the starter key with the starter motor the thing will start. So first I ripped the power connections off of the alarm and then I looked for something to connect my two um, to connect those two wires. And on my keychain I had this old military can opener uh, called a P38 um, and this, this is the remains of the alarm, the uh, starter white wire and starter motor, red and white wire, or whichever way that goes, were plugged in here. On the other side of the board there's a large relay, um, and it turns out that if you first get your foot on the clutch pedal, and then, uh, excuse me for a moment, and then connect these two with a chunk of metal such as a can opener after reconnecting the battery you can stuff your key in the ignition and your vehicle will start and I don't know if you could see what I was doing there but I'm holding the can opener between those two wires once the vehicle is started, you don't need it anymore. Now if I turn the thing off, um, over here, and go to start it again, there's nothing, because I'm not connecting those wires anymore. So, if you just, if you see the edges of this can opener are pretty well suited to jamming in these electrical connectors. Um, after I got that proven, uh, I went inside Kragan and I found this, um, adapter, this Y adapter, which should sort of more permanently connect them. And that's the story of how I started my truck with a can opener.